forever Jesus may I come in Please forgive me for prescribing my own medicine My pestilent negligence stretches effortless Sink up the skin like a leather fit catcher's mitt I was worried tossing in a buried coffin Hurry wash me clean, you purify the water Don't worry I'm just talking or maybe I'm not, vision gets blurry from this short-lived plot. When I let go with me and welcome all of you, follow through as timeless rises like a hot balloon. I promise you I'm striding in these times like multiples chest out, even when I'm feeling smaller than a molecule. Cause I will raise you up, just like when you take the cup. Say this to blood and bread, break it up. Let's praise the sun and as his body's hanging up, sacred love, please take me up, cause my elevator's stuck. And we are back. <laughs> we were just watching that saying, that priest was on the X Factor in Australia. It all comes back to me now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Shevin joins us now. Shevin, how you doing? God's great, life's good, man. Hey, good it morning. Was beautiful being there. What's up, Bishop? So we're watching the video and we're talking all about it. Um, and the thing, first of all, tell me about uh, the song, Emmanuel Forever. What inspired it? Uh, and tell me about the involvement of Father Rob as well. Sure. So music is a part of our learning model at Studio 316. Studio 316 is a supplemental resource that we've created for Catholic school religion class to show how the Gospels relate and apply to our lives today. Father Rob also has music a part of his ministry. We had a mutual friend saying, y'all should connect. So we did via Zoom, considering he's in Australia, and we entertained the idea of a collaboration. He makes contemporary worship music. I make more of like the hip hop and the R&B thing. So we end up making this fusion called Emmanuel Forever. And really what the video illustrates is how the earthly father is always available to his son. The Eucharist is always available to us. Emmanuel Forever. And if we're obedient to Jesus now, then we experience Emmanuel Forever um, in addition to experiencing the Eucharist. So that was like how it all kind of came together. I no doubt our, our viewers remember that uh, on Catholic TV we carry coverage of the World Youth Day in Portugal uh, just this past summer. And I know that you performed for the Pope. What was that like? I mean, it, yeah, it was it was it was it was it was fascinating, Bishop. We we ended up. I performed in front of about forty thousand people the, the the day before, which was which is what that turned out ended up being, and it was. It was incredible. I mean, I've had, that was the most amount of people I was performing in front of. Um, it, and it was just beautiful to see how much zeal, enthusiasm, the joy, and like the, uh, just like the solidarity amongst all these different people from all these different nations, but everyone's there for to glorify Jesus. It was beautiful. And Shevin, you actually had quite a, you actually had quite a moment uh, during yeah. that in a subway, I believe, where you were you were just performing down there because you were performing in other places as well. Correct. So in addition to the, our main performance, we did a lot of these shotgun performances where I was performing on street corners and subways, et cetera. After one of these subway performances, I'm exiting the subway and I'm walking on the sidewalk, about to walk up to the street level. Now, in this particular snapshot, there's probably maybe 1,500 people and there are all the different the ethnicities the the flags you see the the the, the white noise that the smiles now i'm telling this to you as if it happened over 15 minutes it's happening like in two seconds after i download this image i kid you not man i, I felt like this real the best way i can describe it is i felt like this soft whisper and it said one holy catholic and apostolic church but it, it was so clear. It was almost it was almost as if I heard it audibly. Mm -hmm. It like it somehow it just cut through that whole kind of image that I was experiencing. And it was just beautiful. Just like I think it's the Holy Spirit letting me know that our Catholic faith is wide and it's deep and it's real. That is an amazing story. And uh, you witnessed the yeah. church right up close in its unity and its Catholicity and its apostolic sense. And 
So thank you for Very sharing nice. that. And um, now, you have you're more than a musician. Uh, you're the founder of uh, uh, 316, and in in addition mm -hmm. to performing music, you also have indicated you have this curriculum for kids. I think it's second grade yeah. to eighth grade. Can you tell us more about Correct. that because I know it involves music. Sure. So we essentially combine, considering we live in a media consumption culture, our kids are devouring media. And we want kids to imitate Jesus. Collectively, we can agree on that, as opposed to imitating what they see on their screen. But the unfortunate, unfortunate realities are on their screen. So we decided to meet them where they're at on their screen and put out something that was modern, relevant, engaging, Catholic, in order to pull them and encourage them to encounter and imitate Jesus. So what we created was Studio 316. It's all about building a personal relationship with Jesus through scripture um, and through our learning model, pray, watch, reflect, apply, is how we really bring that to life. So we have these real formative components of pray and apply, and then we have this watch part that's like the candy. That's the part where we knew we needed to kind of entertain them, but not for the sake of entertainment, entertain them for the sake of formation, and music is folded into that piece. What's the most exciting thing about 316 uh, Studio 316 that you see in the future? Um, expansion and, and traction. Um, we rolled this out in August of 2022. And as of this week, we're now being experienced in 48 dioceses, which is super exciting. The most exciting part about it is seeing the kids' enthusiasm and seeing how excited they are about, about their faith. Um, so I would say the most exciting part is just continuing to see this like this ripple effect happen. Well, Shevin, it's always a pleasure to have you on. Where can people learn more about your work? Thanks. It's um, studio316.com, studio316.com. Well, that's that's pretty easy. <laughs> I like the easy <laughs> ones. Thanks, Shevin. Right. Shevin, have a great yeah. day. Thank you for having me. Thank God bless you. God bless. You.